What if Megalodon was still alive today? These things were super big and ridiculously strong. Megalodon sharks, aka the Meg, would reach up to 60 feet long. That's about three times larger than your average great white shark today. Yikes. And their bite was more powerful than a T-Rex bite. Think about that one a few times. These creatures were so strong and formidable, aren't you glad they went extinct? But what if these ginormous water monsters didn't go extinct more than two million years ago, but instead roam the waters to this day? This is Matt. And here's what would happen if the Megalodon shark was still alive today. Over the past years, Megalodon sightings have come out all over the internet. There have been numerous eyewitness accounts of huge sharks throughout history, and also various illustrations of gigantic washed-up sharks, even some photographs. And because of this, many people are completely convinced that they're still hiding in the deepest part of the ocean, the notorious Mariana Trench. There has been a lot of controversy surrounding the Megalodon shark, but scientists say there's more than enough proof to discredit the online rumors about Megalodon shark sightings. If the Megs were still around, our oceans would be a heck of a lot more dangerous, and that would mean no more snorkeling and scuba diving trips. But if Megalodon sharks actually still roamed our oceans, the very last place they'd be going would be the freaking Mariana Trench. Megalodons were warm water animals, so it wouldn't even be able to survive there. It would have to adapt to colder temperatures, a different breeding pattern, and greatly different food sources. And speaking of food sources, megalodons were huge and would need a constant supply of large animals to feed off. Here's some food for thought. Maybe megalodons didn't go extinct, but instead evolved into a smaller, more versatile, skilled shark capable of living deep in the oceans. But wait, then that wouldn't be a megalodon shark anymore, right? It's clear that the teeth and jaws of the megs were made for destruction, and if these enormous sharks still existed, we'd be finding their trademark ginormous bite marks on other large marine animals. But that hasn't really ever happened. The only remains we found of these legendary monsters are their teeth, and we found a lot of them. The reason megalodon teeth are so easy to find is because they constantly produce teeth throughout their entire lives. This means that shark teeth are continuously raining down onto the ocean floor, increasing the chance that they will get discovered and fossilized. Also, depending on what they eat, megs lose a set of teeth every one to two weeks, getting through up to 40,000 teeth in their lifetime. So even if megalodons could brush their teeth, they wouldn't even need to because their teeth are covered in fluoride, making them cavity resistant. Pretty cool, huh? But because no one has ever found an intact megalodon, there's still a lot we don't actually know about them. Here's what we've been able to find out so far. Megalodon sharks are widely regarded as both the largest shark to have ever lived on Earth and one of the largest vertebrate predators in history. They roamed the seas about 16 million years ago. And with its large, jagged teeth, megalodon sharks would have eaten meat, most likely whales and large fish, and probably other sharks. I mean, if you're that big, you need to eat a lot of food, right? They probably feasted on animals as small as dolphins and as large as humpback whales. But I bet they would have avoided clownfish, because not only does it look funny, but they taste funny too. Sorry, Nemo we're taking you off the menu. And about two million years ago, they all disappeared. Scientists aren't exactly sure why, but one theory is that megalodons simply couldn't adjust to the cooling ocean temperatures and their prey would keep moving to colder waters, resulting in a loss of food and increase of competition for that food. It would be a spectacular sight to see a real megalodon in action, but we're pretty sure most people are happy with the idea that megalodons are extinct. And for some of you out there that are still hopeful they exist, even though most of science says no, we feel you on how awesome it would be to see a real megalodon shark in action. Oh, 
and you're going to want to hit the subscribe button for extra good luck on spotting a live Megalodon shark in action. Did you have fun learning about an ancient and massive shark in a fun way? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. And hey, while you're down there, let us know what other cool shark species you like the most. We love nerding out with you guys in the comments. The first person to name another gnarly shark species will get a shout out and we'll feature you on the next video about the shark species you commented about. See you all next time.